What's up guys, Emily here, and I decided to film a video with my dad as requested by all of you. So we're gonna do five fishing hacks that everyone should know, and hopefully these will help you out, whether you've heard them or not. Maybe you'll learn something new that you can put to use. So stay tuned. Actually, actually huh? What? Actually, Emily, one of my tips is a two-for-one special, so we're going to get six hacks. Hey, y'all, this is Johnny Bass, and uh, Emily has asked me to provide a couple of tips that uh, I've learned over the years. So I'm going to give you a little two-for-one tip on uh, using electrical tape. First of all, I learned this the hard way, um, whether you're using a bait cast reel or a spinning reel. If you don't have a backing on there, and you're using braided line and you tie directly to the spool you can uh, spool up a brand new uh, roll of 50 pound braid and when you get done you'll find that your line just peels right off because uh, that braid is so slick it just doesn't catch so uh, one easy tip to fix that is to use a piece of electrical tape so what we'll do is actually take just a small piece of electrical tape cut it off and then we'll wrap it around the spool on either the bait cast reel or the spinning reel and then uh, spool your line your braided line on top of that electrical tape and that'll allow it to catch and then uh, you won't have any problems with slippage so let me grab my little knife over here and we will cut us off just a small piece of that and then you can actually just fix it on the spool like that. You can actually kind of reel it on there. Doesn't have to be perfect. But as you can see, we now have our electrical tape on the spool. So all I gotta do now is just spool it up with the braid just like normal and I'm good to go. And the same thing works for the spinning reel. You just wrap the little piece of electrical tape around the spool and spool it on. While I got you, I'm gonna give you one more tip with electrical tape that will save you a lot of time. If you're uh, fishing with new anglers, uh, you know, kids or people that haven't thrown a bait cast reel a lot, I'll show you a trick that'll uh, save them a lot of heartache and make them more excited about fishing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut us another small piece of electrical tape. I'll put it right there on my chair. And then I'm gonna let my uh, young kid fish with that is, doesn't have a lot of experience with bait casters. So all you gotta do, I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna make the longest cast I can possibly make with the reel. And then I'm gonna strip off just a few more feet of line. And then I'm gonna take my piece of tape, put it on the spool, get it down nice and snug. And then so I've made my long cast and then I'm going to take my piece of electrical tape and I'm going to put it over the line and then I'm just going to reel in my bait. Now you can't see the electrical tape on there but now the kid or inexperienced fisherman can make a, make a long cast they won't get to the tape and that keeps them from backlashing and having a severe backlash. So any, any little backlash they have will be before the tape It'll, it'll save a lot of headache and it'll make them more confident in their fishing. What's up guys, it's Emily and my first hack for you is the tournament box. So, have you ever been fishing a tournament and you're just sitting there uh, needing a certain bait and you can't find it because everything in your boat is unorganized and you're digging through compartments and making a mess? Well, this kind of put, put an end to that for me. Um, me and my dad had the idea to get a box and fill it up with whatever you're gonna use during the tournament or you think you may need. And you still keep other baits in the other compartments of your boat, but this is just what you think you're gonna need um, that you know you're gonna wanna use so you're not digging around for it, losing time. So we usually just keep the power pole switch, pliers, extra spool of line, and any baits that we need for the tournament and anything related to our pattern for that day. So tournament box is a good tip for all you tournament anglers that are very unorganized. Hey guys, this is Johnny Bass again. 
and it's that time of year. It's fall, we're throwing big crankbaits. Emily has gotten to where she loves to throw a 6XD, 8XD, 10XD, uh, which are great baits, but they're not real cheap. And so uh, we fish Sam Raven a lot to lead a bend, and obviously there's a lot of stumps, and if you're gonna fish a big crankbait, you're gonna get hung up in a lot of stumps. And it really hurts sometimes to, to lose, you know, eight, $10, $12 bait. So uh, one thing that we have invested in, which was very cheap, was a uh, lure retriever. So there's a lot of different brands out there. This one's actually called the Money Hound, I think. It's shaped like a little puppy dog. So uh, it works pretty simple. I have a five and a half foot broken Berkeley lightning rod from about 1987 with a pistol grip. Uh, you can use the rod of your choice. It really doesn't matter. But we keep this, the reason I like this, it's five and a half foot long. I keep this attached to it all the time and it fits real easy in the rod box. And it's out of the way. So you want uh, at least 80 pound braid. Uh, 100 pound is better. So you don't you know, want to make sure you don't break it off. But it's real simple. You just tie on your uh, lure retriever. And then when Emily hangs up my $20 crankbait, all we've got to do is uh, go over here and grab the line and put it on the hound dog just like that you see how i attached it to the line and then you just drop it down you just you just uh hit your button drop your spool down let it go all the way down to the stump most of the time it pops right off and if not kind of jig it up and down and uh that big hound dog will just bounce on that bait and it'll knock it off and i can't tell you how many hundreds of dollars we've saved in crankbaits uh using this this lure retriever so it's a must have if you're going to throw crankbaits unless you have a tremendous amount of money to buy new crankbaits i'm out so when you're catching big fish or you're catching any size fish that you want to net have you ever had the problem of getting your bait hung up in the net and it's just a mess and you can't get it out and then it gets all tangled gets torn any other things like that may happen 15 years ago my dad decided to get a rubber net and it doesn't tear and it's hang up free so if you're fishing with a crankbait the treble hooks aren't going to get everywhere and cause you a huge mess and may take it 20 minutes to untangle so you're not losing time and it's a lot hassle more hassle free than a normal net Okay, another tip guys is, have you ever gotten out to the lake and you're on your fish and you're trying to watch them on the graph and stay on them, but you can't see because the graph is so disgusting and makes a terrible glare. Um, helpful tip is to always keep Windex and a little dish rag in your boat. Spray the Windex on there, wipe it off, and it's just as good as a new depth finder. I hope you enjoy these tips and my dad being in the videos. If you guys want him in more videos, comment below and we'll definitely do some more stuff for you guys. <laughs> We're out! I forgot to say it. Say it now. We're out! <laughs>